they tried lease level, lethal uh, options first, and when the subject turned on the deputy and reached into his uh, either pocket or in front of his pants, um, and didn't follow the deputy's directions at that point, there was a shot fired. At that point, I don't know any further information. Now, welcome back to Up With Prem. This morning, we are tracking breaking news. There is a large police presence right now in North Spokane. This is near North Monroe Street between Post and Wedgwood. Nicole Hernandez is there now where roads are closed. Good morning, Nicole. button that's okay to press now not yet okay i'm waiting for one piece of information from mark okay got it all right again we're standing by right now actually for a press conference as you see there that's sheriff ozzy knezovich he is at the scene again this is at post in wedgwood in north spokane this morning a large police presence right now we're just standing by for a press conference hoping to learn a little more information about what exactly is going on Right now, what we can tell you is that neighbors reported a large police presence, again, near Post and Wedgwood in North Spokane around 4 a.m., so a little more than two hours ago. So let's listen in now. At about 3.50 this morning, uh, deputies attempted to make a traffic stop. And I want to remind everybody, this is very, very preliminary information. If something is different, then what uh, we know preliminarily, we will let you know and we'll get that uh, straightened out with you. After that, initiating the, the traffic stop, there was a short pursuit. The, sh uh, the suspect went into a yard, um, it appears to hit a fence. The suspect got out of the vehicle. From what we know at this time, very preliminary information, the suspect walked towards the deputy I refused to stop. The deputy gave several commands. At that point, the deputy attempted to deploy his taser. The taser failed. There was a short foot pursuit. The suspect again stopped, turned, reached into the front area um, of his either pocket or of his pants. The deputy gave more commands, at which time uh, reports of a shot fired. The uh, individual that was involved in the pursuit is, uh, has passed away, and the deputy uh, is uh, going to be put on administrative leave per our protocol. Uh, that's the information we have at this time. Again, if anything changes in that information, we will let you know. But everything we know preliminarily, you now know. Mr. Knezovich, you had mentioned when we first got here that this is the first time that you guys have uh, a different procedure to follow when it comes to an officer-involved shooting. Can you ex please explain what exactly that means and entails? Because of the passage of I-940, uh, the Sheriff's Office no longer has any ability to assist the City of Spokane or WSP in this investigation. So the full burden of this investigation falls on those two agencies, manpower-wise and everything. Uh, the WAC and the rules concerning uh, this new protocol are draconian to the point that um, we actually have to get approval um, when we finally get all the pieces together of a citizen advisory uh, board or to advise them that we uh, are going to, let's say they needed our drone today, which they did. Uh, technically, they're not supposed to use anything, any piece of equipment that we own. That's just ridiculous. Um, the other aspect of it is, is this new protocol really limits my ability as your elected representative. People forget that in 2006, I really developed a different role. I became your elected representative in these matters. While well, this law took away my ability to keep you informed and to really know what's going on in this investigation um, without being briefed, not real time, but after the fact. So after this interview, 
I will have as much information concerning this, uh, this investigation as you do, and you will probably find out that information uh, about the same time you do, uh, which is, in my opinion, a very big disservice to the citizens of this community. My job is to keep you informed. Uh, that has been limited now. Pardon me? Do we know if the subject is a man or a woman? The, it's a male sus, uh, subject. Um, I, we don't know the age right now. Again, it's very preliminary information. And then do you know how long the roads might be closed for? A couple hours? As long as it takes to get the crime scene done. Uh, we're fully aware that we have a major winter storm coming, so we're going to do everything that uh, we can. Uh, to get that evidence uh, secured and collected uh, before that, that happens. But again, the manpower to do that has been severely limited now within this region. People don't realize how bad this law has affected our ability to do our jobs. The city now has half the manpower that we used to have in order to get these things done. In 2007, Anchor Patrick, the former chief of Spokane, uh, police department and I went, you know, it's probably not a good idea for us to investigate our own officer-involved shootings. So we set up a region-wide, a region-wide, mind you, protocol to deal with these type of situations. Well, when, if the city were to have an officer-involved shooting, um, my agency will have to bear the full brunt of that investigation now with no manpower to do so from the city. And that has severely limited um, our abilities. So there are unattended consequences to a law that was told to the citizens. This is only about training. If you remember the campaign on I-940, they told you it was only about training. No, it was much, uh, about much more than that. It has damaged our ability to make sure that we have the resources to properly get this done, and that is a disservice to you, the people. It's a disservice to everybody involved, and I think it's just tragic that uh, that politics got that involved in uh, in making sure that we do our jobs correctly. Any other questions? Uh, going back to the traffic stop earlier, why was he pulled over in the first place? That is information that I don't have at this time. Um, the next briefing, I, I suppose they'll have that uh, that information for you. But it was a. It sounds like it started as a simple traffic stop. And then, do we know if he was actually armed? We do not know that yet. Um, we will be collecting evidence at the scene, determining what we have. But it, you have what I have right now. The individual. On two occasions, failed to uh, follow the deputy's commands. They tried least lethal, lethal uh, options first, and when the subject turned on the deputy and reached into his uh, either pocket or in front of his pants, um, and didn't follow the deputy's directions at that point, there was a shot fired. At that point, I don't know any further information. Again, this is all preliminary, and as soon as we uh, we have that information. I'm sure that the city of Spokane uh, Police Department will give you that information. But just one shot, right? At this point? As far as I know, yes. Right. Mr. Canoza, Ms. Lockley, um, I know that you have said you know, your deputies are, are going to have to stop now. Has uh, City of Spokane Police arrived on scene yet to, to help or assist? Yes, we have officially released the inner perimeter to the city of Spokane. We will stay on the outer perimeter. Uh, to you know, make sure the traffic flow and everything. One thing I would mention, North Wall, north of Francis, is going to be very congested with police uh, vehicles. So you might want to think about your morning commute, uh, avoiding North Wall right now. Um, but we will handle the outer perimeter. They have the inner perimeter and the crime scene. Any other questions? Do you feel like with the information you have now that everything was handled appropriately by the officer? Again, I told you that this is preliminary information. 
we don't make any determinations of appropriateness until we know the facts. And I don't know all the facts yet. That will be borne out by an investigation. So uh, if I were to make a, a, a judgment call at this point, I would not be representing the, the people of this community very well. So let us do our jobs, let us get the facts, and you'll know the facts as soon as we know them. Thank you, well, thank you for coming out to speak with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.